everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, it started to rain, so I think January, we're already, we're going to have rain here in, in Western New York for January. Then we might have a couple days of some sunshine, but it's supposed to be a wet month, according to my weather. I don't know what the weatherman will say about that, but my weather says wet around, for me. I don't know what it will be for you. But um, today I watched documentaries, a bunch of documentaries. First I started out with uh, one on vegan that was, uh, you could tell it was against animals completely. It was a vegan kind of um, documentary. Then I watched one because I was curious, that, you know, they have the people that live to over a hundred, but they're not vegetarian. <laughs> And I was wondering, are there any 100-year-olds that are vegetarians? And there might be, there might be some out there, but I don't know. But I didn't find anything that showed that. And I also watched a, a, a documentary on carnivore, because if I watched vegetarian, I gotta watch carnivore too. And I actually enjoyed the carnivore one much better because he was actually more well I said actually twice now I said actually three times four times <laughs> actually <laughs> oh gosh the word of the day is the word of the day is actually I guess actually I can't get past this now <laughs> it's like stuff <laughs> yep. oh dear well <laughs> how am I gonna say it um without saying the word actually. <laughs> it kills me. Okay, we have to move on from that word. Oh gosh, Jim is smiling big time over there. Um, the carnivore person was saying that if you are a vegetarian and that diet is work or that way of eating is working very good for you, then stay with it. If you're a keto person then stay with that if that's makes you feel better and if you want to do carnivore then do carnivore and if that's what makes you feel good then feel good it was really very very I liked his I don't know who it was that was listening to or even the name of it but it was a very interesting one because they were not saying that you have to do anything a certain way and I liked that because he also stated that if you are at a, at a um, say they want, somebody asked if, if children should be a carnivore and he says, you know, the more you deny them of the things that they want, um, like if they went to a birthday party, they're going to have cake. If you tell them they can't have cake, they're going to wish, they're going to get the biggest piece or something. They're going to, so let them, let them enjoy that moment. Just don't bring it into your house, which when the, our kids were littler, I did not have a sweet tooth. Jim did. <laughs> he doesn't anymore, but he had a real good sweet tooth and, tooth. and the kids would say if they wanted something that was sweet or something that, oh gosh, I wouldn't eat it anyways. I'd say if you want, you have to ask your father for that because I don't buy those things. I don't like them. I'm not going to buy them. And if you want them, you have to wait till you're with your daddy. And then daddy will take you, maybe. You have to ask him. So that's how we did it. Oh, except, but she does except like peanut I did uh, eat the peanut brittle <laughs> and, the, and the other peanut things. I've been eating them. Oh, Elizabeth, these things are, I'm, I'm going slow on them. How, how long have I had it? A few weeks? <laughs> A couple weeks, yeah. I'm going slow on it. But she I did, does eat sweets. I do eat sweets now. I didn't, you know, when I had sugar in my coffee, uh, these would have, uh, this would have sat there for, I don't know when, uh, the kids would have had to eat it for me, or Jim would have eaten it for me, because he was big. He used to eat the frosting off the cake. I always okay. took the frosting off the cake. I never liked it. Um, and if I had cake, I had to have ice cream just to help wash down that cake, because I didn't like it. And I only liked certain, certain pies. I didn't like all pies. Um, and I hated cherry pie. That was the worst. And now cherry pie is pretty good, but it's my homemade cherry pie if I make it. But any back off of 
that stuff oh, because we don't need to talk about sweets because some people don't want to eat sweets. But if you do and you have it now and then, it's okay. Now yesterday I did have some potato chips. My granddaughter brought a bag of... Um, Snyder's? Sn yeah, they were uh, Snyder's salt and, salt and vinegar. vinegar. And I said, oh, ho, 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 you're going to kill your Nona <laughs> because I don't buy these things. And if I do buy them, I won't open them because, in fact, I had a bag of potato chips in the freezer for over a year just because I wanted to know they were there. And it was just a little personal size bag and it was in the freezer for over a year. Well, I ate it one day. I did eat it finally, but it was there for over a year. So that's what, the way I, I like knowing it's there, but I don't have to eat it. And for, oh, we forgot to put Jake in his house. Ooh, I hear his feet. Do you hear his feet? Those are his nails because he won't let me cut them. What are you doing? Hey, go lay down. Where are you going? You didn't say go in my house. In your house. Go. Now he'll go. No, uh, uh, that's not your house. Oh my, he's not listening. He's he's being disobedient. Come on, Jake. In your house. Good boy. Okay, he's in his house. Took him a little bit. He was he was testing, just like the kids do. They test. Well, I guess that's it for today. I hope you all had a good good um, day. I just watched documentaries. I answered my comments and. Um, it's been a quiet day. My son is cooking dinner for us today. What are we having? Pa patio steaks? steaks? I have never heard of patio steaks. Have you ever heard of patio steaks? If you have, put it in the comment of if you've had them before. I've never heard of them. He went to our, our nice little meat market, Tuscany's, which he wishes he had in Indiana, but he doesn't have one of those. And he bought olives, and he bought mozzarella um, balls, and he bought some cheese curd. And um, this stuff they don't have over there like cheese, we have. I can get the cheese, cheese curds, curd, but they don't have the sausage. They don't have our sausage, and we have the best sausage in town, other than those of you that make your own sausage and have the best sausage in town. <laughs> so... Well, that's it for today, and let me know if you've ever had patio steaks, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye!